Welcome to RIT Talk. We're here to raise awareness about mental health. One way of doing that is to talk about it. And that's what we're going to do. Have a great day. Don't quit. And keep pushing forward. Today, we're going to talk with Johnny. Go ahead. Take it away. Tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, guys. I'm uh, Johnny Morris. I've been in the fire service for 22 years now. Uh, work with the City of San Luis Fire Department here in Yuma County. Uh, all 22 of those years have been spent down there. Uh, okay. Been a paramedic since uh, 2006 um, and a captain since 2010. Okay. Most recently, uh, just found out actually this past week uh, that I'll be promoting to battalion chief here in. Oh. Uh, Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. Once we uh, once we open our second station, that'll be my new position. Oh, nice. So, yeah. so what um, what would you say drew you into the fire service, or what what made you want to become a firefighter? Uh, so I uh, I'm one of those follow in your dad's footsteps type of guys. Um, okay. My dad was a member of the fire service for thirty plus years. Um, kind of grew up around it. Um, kind of in my blood, I guess. Um, I did look at other options for careers, um, but I just I just found myself coming back to the fire service, and uh, here I am, twenty two years later. <laughs> All right. What um, What would one thing, or you say, one thing that could help improve? Uh, firefighter mental health. Oh, mental health. There we go. I think uh, what you're doing right now, getting getting guys to talk about it, is a huge step. Um, I think that uh, the CISM and all that stuff that we have following critical incidents is important. Um, but getting guys to be open about their feelings, guys and gals, um, to be open and to talk about uh, what's going on in their lives personally. Um, just to be open about it. Okay. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, not really. Not, not there. All right. Uh, I think that, uh, I just think that it needs to be talked about. Um, and then, and then have follow through. I think okay. that, uh, I think that we have great, uh, employee assistance programs, the EAPs, um, but I don't, I don't think they fit the mold for the fire service. Um, okay. I know there's a lot, a lot of other good apps out there from, say, the 100 Club. Um, uh, I'd have to look it up on my phone and tell you the name of the app. But um, there's apps out there that I think are beneficial. Um, it's one that I implemented in my department. And uh, I was really kind of bummed because it only got like three or four people downloaded it. Like told me, it told me, it sent me a report and tell me how many people of your agency have downloaded the app. Um, not who downloaded it or who's using it, just how many people. Okay. Um, and I was, I was kind of shocked. Um, it's got, you know, it's, it's just an app, but it's got, uh, it gives you access to a lot of stuff uh, outside of your city, outside of your department. Uh, I think a lot of guys have a, a problem with, um, uh, the confidentiality of things. Um, they don't want word getting out that, uh, you know, they're going to the EAP or they're struggling with this or they're struggling with that. Um, so some of those apps outside of the, the city departments, um, I think are beneficial. Uh, unfortunately, our guys, not, not too many of them downloaded it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Cool. Is that it? That's it. Man, all right. Well, I hope that was all you needed, man. <laughs>